Ancient people brewed this flavorful beverage with malted barley and hops. Today we use much the same ingredients to make beer, but with a production technology that's miles ahead. <laughs> Beer has been drunk since 4000 BC in Mesopotamia. The Sikaru made it as a sacred beverage from grains but without hops. The Gauls and the Celts drank a beverage made with barley, wheat and rye. During the Crusades, Europeans discovered spices and flavored the beverage with cinnamon and laurel. In the 15th century, Nordic peoples used hops as a spice, giving rise to the beer that we know today. Beer is a fermented beverage made with cereals and water. The barley used in making beer comes from the western provinces, with the malting being done elsewhere. The company has its own water filtration plant. It will be re-filtered before being used to eliminate chlorine. This materials tank can hold 80,000 liters of water. Between 10 and 15 tons of malt and another grain are added. They use dark malt, which has been heat treated to a high temperature. The preparation will spend two hours here. An agitator prevents malt husks from settling to the bottom of the tank. Turbulence from the pumps during the transfer causes the formation of this protein foam. The wort is in the process of being extracted and will be boiled. About five hours have passed since the brewing process began. Here they draw off a sample since they'll make other control tests at various stages of brewing. This is the draft, a solid residue extracted from the wort. It will later be used as cattle feed. Here is a close-up view of the draft. Then the liquid is filtered. Here's the filtration tank where the wort is separated from the malt husks. A sample is withdrawn from the wort heater to verify the density of sugars and the quality of the wort. Now another ingredient, the hops, is added into the wort heater. The hops impart the bitterness and aroma particular to beer. The hops looks like this. Now they can start the brewing. In the control room, an operator handles the data control system of the brewing process. They add in the yeast, which starts off the fermentation, a process that lasts between seven and 10 days. This foam indicates that fermentation has begun and sugars will now transform into alcohol. Each fermentation tank is computer controlled to maintain a specific temperature. During fermentation, chemical reactions create the scum that we see. Now aged for three weeks, the beer is almost finished. We see here the bottling tanks. The beer has to be filtered once more. Exiting these filters, the wort is clarified, then rid of the components responsible for the cloudiness of the beer. Here's the beer filtered a second time, and finally finished as a clear product. Used bottles are now washed. After their wash cycle, the bottles have become sterilized. Empty bottles arrive on this plate, ready to be filled. About 1,000 bottles a minute are filled while on the move. Then they pass to the capper before being sent to the pasteurizer for pasteurization. Only two steps remain, 
Labels are glued onto the bottles, then they're sent by the conveyor to be put into cases. Made from water and cereal grains, the beer is now ready to be consumed and enjoyed. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. I hope what you saw today speaks for itself. Our goal is to give you a view of the many manufacturing methods that produce the items we see in our daily lives. I'm Mark Tewksbury. See you next time on How It's Made.